Mercedes just changed everything. So we're going to be going through that and other Mercedes stories in today's video. So make sure to like this video. And if you want more Mercedes news content like this, make sure to subscribe to the channel by hitting that red button down below. Lewis Hamilton believes that he would have been able to challenge Max Verstappen for victory if Mercedes had made the right strategy calls during the Dutch Grand Prix. Hamilton was the only driver to opt against the soft tire compound when starting from 13th on the grid, instead choosing the mediums. But heavy rain began fall the circuit on the opening lap, and while most of the field peeled into the pits for intermediates at the end of laps one and two, Hamilton was one of few drivers that decided to stay out. After losing an abundance of time to the wet weather tire runners, Mercedes called in Hamilton, but the delay in switching compounds dropped him towards the back of the field. A strong recovery drive promoted the two-time F1 champion to sixth, with Hamilton unable to make his way past Ferrari's Carlos Sainz in the close stages despite applying immense pressure. I feel really good. I didn't really know how it was going to go naturally, he told Sky Sports F1. And I sat here last night Saturday just really racking my brain like, where did we go wrong and how do we end up in this position? Then I was just working on trying to figure out how I can progress. I was the only one on the medium tire and I wanted to be offset to the people around me, not everyone on the grid. When that rain then came out, we as a team made the wrong decision. Ultimately, it was the team's call and we paid the price for that. But then we came out last, and I think after that just was just chasing, kept my head down. On his fight back through the field, Hamilton added, I was really happy. I got past the McLaren of Lando Norris on this track, which is not so easy to do, and I was quicker than Saints at the end, just needed to get DRS. I think the pace in those conditions, if we've made the right call, we had the pace to be challenging the top two. We would have been challenging Max, to be honest, particularly when we got to the dry, I mean, Pace-wise, I think we weren't terribly far off. Not saying that we would have beat them, but it's nice to think that way. Mercedes team principal Toto Wolff has addressed the reasons for George Russell's recent struggles, labeling the current generation of cars as being on the knife edge. Russell replaced Valtteri Bottas at Mercedes last year and immediately impressed amid a challenging campaign for the then-defending world champions in the new rules cycle. With the German Mark's troubles ruling it out of title contention, Russell managed Mercedes' sole pole position and race win en route to beating Hamilton in the standings. After maintaining that edge over his teammate through the first four qualifying sessions of 2023, Russell has failed to defeat Hamilton in qualifying since Mercedes debuted its heavily revised car at the Monaco Grand Prix in May. Aside from lagging behind Hamilton, Russell has also been absent from Q3 and 3 of the past eight race weekends, dropping him 49 points behind his Mercedes partner. However, Wolf has defended Russell's slump in form, asserting that the Brit has been unfortunate to get caught on the wrong side of a troublesome Mercedes car. These cars are on the knife's edge, Wolf explained. You can quickly fall off it and lose the confidence. On the other side, if you're within that corridor of sweet spot, having said that, that car, W14, has no sweet spot. But being more in that zone of understanding what it will do next, I think there's a big difference and you can quickly be in either one of these situations, and obviously it goes against you. Mercedes technical chief Mike Elliott has reinforced the views of Wolf, detailing how tough it is for the drivers to get on top of the current crop of F1 machinery. I think these cars are hard to drive, and they're running close to the ground, he noted. And it's tricky to sort of find that right balance through the corner. It's tricky to do that with the stiffness of the cars. George is a fantastic driver, so I'm sure he'll get what he needs to get out of the car fairly quickly. While the pecking order behind Red Bull has constantly changed in the rounds before the summer break, Mercedes has managed to establish a commanding hold on second position in the constructors' standings. The Brackley-based squad currently possesses a 51-point lead over Aston Martin, who is a further five points clear of Ferrari. Hamilton has excelled since Mercedes abandoned its ambitious zero side pod concept, notching six top four finishes in the seven rounds with the new spec car. During that run, the seven-time world champion has also achieved three podiums and ended his elusive wait for a pole position on Saturday at the Hungarian Grand Prix. Toto Wolff has confirmed that talks with Lewis Hamilton regarding a new deal are progressing well. The Lewis Hamilton Mercedes F1 contract saga has stretched on for quite a while with no end anywhere in sight. While the discussions are ongoing, the Brackley-based outfit's team principal, Toto Wolff, has shed light on what is being discussed between Mercedes and Hamilton's entourage. 
Lewis Hamilton has been a vital cog in the Mercedes F1 setup since 2013 and has, over the years, played a massive role in helping the team amass several world championships at the pinnacle of motor racing. Since Hamilton's arrival, Mercedes won the Constructors' Championship eight times in a row until 2021. While the former seven-time F1 world champion is currently in his last year with the German team with discussions ongoing regarding a new contract, Mercedes boss Toto Wolff recently said, as reported by SilverArrows.net, We're only talking about small details such as marketing schedules and so on. I'm not worried at all. The 51-year-old has made it known the current discussions between Mercedes and Lewis Hamilton and company are based on small things like marketing schedules and all. Moreover, Wolf has clarified that discussions are progressing well, and he is not worried about it. While Mercedes and Lewis Hamilton are yet to reach a middle ground regarding a new F1 deal, the rumors mill has been extremely active in talking about seeds of tension growing between Wolf and Hamilton. However, the latter, with his recent comments, has put all the rumors to bed for good. Hamilton, while talking about his relationship with the Mercedes boss, said, Toto is a great boss, and Mercedes have supported me for such a long time. I don't feel that there is any tension between us. We trust each other. We have the same goals, and we know that we can achieve them together. Lewis Hamilton sees his future at Mercedes and does not consider going elsewhere to reach his goals. He has his full faith in Toto Wolff and company to deliver a potent car in the upcoming years so he can have a serious go at securing a record-breaking 8th F1 World Championship. The team had a tricky Dutch Grand Prix as Hamilton came home 6th and Russell 17th following a late puncture. Mercedes team principal Toto Wolff has conceded that the entire team, including himself, was subpar during the Dutch Grand Prix. The Silver Arrows started 3rd and 13th on the grid with George Russell and Lewis Hamilton, but did not react quickly enough as rain fell on the opening lap, with the team believing it would only be a passing shower. But a 10-minute duration left the decision to remain on slicks backfired as the majority of the field switched to intermediates, and although both drivers fell to the back of the field, a strong comeback positioned Hamilton and Russell in the top 10 when a late red flag period for further rain was triggered. Whilst Hamilton finished 6th, Russell dropped to last following a puncture after contact with Lando Norris, with the result ensuring the team has collected only one podium in the past five races. Explaining the team's deficiencies during the race at Zandvoort, Wolf told Sky Sports F1, We will review thoroughly, and the situation is never the fault of one person or one department. It is the communication between the drivers, the pit wall, strategy, and all of us taking decisions. That was absolutely subpar from all of us, and that includes me. It is good when it hurts, and when it stings, it sticks. I'd rather have good pace, a fast race car, and a mediocre result, even if it hurts. We saw at the end on the intermediates, George had race winner Max Verstappen's pace, and Lewis was very strong behind Carlos Sainz. We could have been much further ahead, but it is bittersweet because the result is just really bad, and it could have been good, but that doesn't count. Lewis Hamilton in recent interviews says he is biding time for Mercedes, waiting for them to put together a much better and enhanced car. The Dutch GP takes place this Sunday, and although Mercedes does not have much hope about the results, it's optimistic about the future seasons and is working on improving the car. Mercedes so far hasn't had the best season. They are currently second in the Constructors' Championship, and it's very heartbreaking for a team that has won eight consecutive Constructors' Championship. It's been especially disheartening for Hamilton, who hasn't won a race so far since the 2021 season. Lewis Hamilton, in his interview, sheds light on the behind-the-scenes at Mercedes. Hamilton goes on to say, We're constantly trying to improve our processes. We're continuously making adjustments. It's improving our communication in the background, making sure the heads of departments are getting the real information through, and deep diving onto certain subjects, whether it's bouncing, whether it's car characteristics, through corner balances, all these sorts of things. Even though Hamilton is still sans a contract, but fans strongly believe that the renewal with Mercedes is bound to be announced anytime soon. Mercedes and Hamilton have been a great combination in the past, and together they are bound to achieve more success in the future. Toto Wolff in an interview has said that Hamilton has evolved from what he was when he joined Mercedes in 2013. It's true that he has been on the top of the sport for a long period of time, but now that he is not on the top, he has evolved his mindset to accept that. 
Wolf says that Hamilton has developed an optimistic side and is open to criticisms. Together, Wolf and Hamilton have dominated the sport, and fans for sure can't seem to wait. Mercedes is working on developing the perfect car for Hamilton to win that eight world title, and Hamilton is waiting for the perfect opportunity. George Russell has conceded Mercedes weather information for the Dutch Grand Prix was totally wrong. Heavy rain hit Zandvoort midway through the opening lap of the race to prompt a flurry of activity in the pits, but Mercedes kept both Russell, who started third, and teammate Lewis Hamilton out on slick tires with the belief the shower would quickly pass through. But with Sergio Perez, the leading car to have made the stop for intermediates, having made up the deficit by the start of lap three to take the lead, the Silver Arrows eventually gave up the ghost to make the switch. 